that really does confirm, I think, the impression of all of us, of these internet atheists, their bitterness, the anger, uh, the emotional tirades that come from them show that this is not a matter of a dispassionate intellectual quest, even though they love to pose in that way. This is an emotionally driven reaction. And she said, because he loves you, Bill. And that just hit me like a ton of bricks. I just came to the end of my rope and cried out to God one night. And as I cried out all the anger and the bitterness that was in me, I felt this tremendous infusion of joy. Many of them, I think Peterson's quite right, have had negative experiences in the church as children or teenagers and are now in severe rebellion to it. Sandy introduced me to other Christians in the high school. I had never met people like this. Uh, no matter what they said about Jesus, what was undeniable was that they seemed to be living life on a different plane of reality than I was. There, and and it, it imparted a deep peace and meaning and joy to their lives. If you say to people, well, the reason I reject Christianity is emotional because I've been hurt or I've been wounded, that doesn't make you look good. But if you have intellectual objections to Christianity, who's so rational, you know, rationality rules. One, if God does not exist, then objective moral values and duties do not exist. If you can pose as the dispassionate, academic, careful inquirer. Two, but objective moral values and duties do exist. There are some moral absolute, some objective values and duties. Then you earn self-respect and credibility in the eyes of your audience. Three, therefore God exists. And I looked up at the stars and I thought, God, I've come to know God.